Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be using ChatGPT to come up with a sales script. This is going to be something that you can utilize say, if you need to get on the phone, maybe close some type of sale, coaching, consulting, whatever it might be, maybe a service. Let's begin. So I have this prompt right here that I'm going to paste in. It's not going to give us something that's obviously completely done, but let me read this for you. I'm looking to create a sales script that I can use to close leads. Please give me an outline for a sales script where I can ask more questions and fill in the details. So it's kind of just giving us a skeleton or an outline where it says in the intro, you're going to want to do this, then talk about this. And then from there, we can give it more information, kind of fine tune it. Definitely not going to be perfect. You know, if you're looking for something that's probably like try tested and true there's obviously going to be people out there who can help you with it but if you have no information about closing sales or anything like that it'll give you a good place to start let's see what we get all right so here we go we have our intro uh, introduce yourself and your company briefly explain what your product or service is keep in mind this is really going to depend on how you're calling someone or if, say you feel like you're doing a cold call or compare that to someone watching a full webinar and then signing up for like a breakthrough session there's going to be a very big difference in the fact that they really know you or if it's a cold call they're like who the hell is this person right uh, qualifying questions that's going to be a good one uh, presentation this is pretty much uh, highlights how your product is product and service can meet those needs uh, closing and follow up it's funny because a lot of the sales scripts i've ever gone over some of the best ones are pretty much you doing about five percent of the talking and then just asking questions uh, and diagnosing the problem where it's like the presentation of the offer is usually not all that long but this is just from my perspective everyone does it different whatever works for you but just throwing in some tidbits there let's uh go with this I like how ChatGPT is certainly having a conversation with me. I, I tell them to work on the introduction. They're like, sure, here it is. Anyway, so hello, my name is your name, James. I'm the owner of Marketing Island. How are you today? Hope you're having a great day. May I know your name, please? Like stuff like this, obviously, you can take out. If they filled out a form, you probably know their name, you know, their number. Uh, what industry do you work in? We specialize in helping companies, blah, blah, blah. Like this probably wouldn't need to be there if it's someone who knows you anyway. So this talks about the purposes, which is cool, uh, introduces yourself, asks a few simple questions to break the ice, and it sets the stage for the rest of the convo. So like I said, uh, this is probably going to be nowhere near perfect, but you can get some good ideas from it. So qualifying questions. I like this. Like I said, this would probably be the majority of the call where you're making sure they're a good fit. See if you can help them based upon what your product or service is. Sure, let's go with that. All right, so sure, here are some good examples of qualifying questions. So can you tell me more about your current marketing efforts? You know, and this is something where they can just go on and on. And if they're like, eh, yeah, I mean, it's OK. Like usually you got to get much deeper than that. So uh, I would emphasize that these questions are going to be some of the biggest deal and make sure you get more information out of them if you plan on using it, you know, for your sales script. So uh, are you happy with the results you're seeing? You know, where are your challenges? Where are your biggest problems? Where are your goals? Where are you right now? Anyway, so let me read through these. I'm just kind of rambling off the top of my head. What specific challenges are you facing with your marketing right now? Okay. And how long has that been going on for? Uh, what is your budget for marketing services? Some people don't like asking budget. Some people do. It's really up to you. Who is typically involved in the decision-making process for marketing services at your company? This is like, how much money do you have and can you pay me? It is pretty much what they're asking. Uh, like I said, it's up to you what you want to use out of these. What are your goals for your marketing in the next six months or so? What is the timeline for making a decision about marketing services? That'd be funny if they're like, yeah, within like 10 years. It's like, oh, okay. These questions will help you understand the leads needs and pain points, their budget and their decision making process. This information will help you tailor your presentation and address any objections that they may have. So if you are going to be addressing any objections, the best way to do that is bring them up before they even come up. Um, aside from that, keep in mind that depending on the leads position and authority, they may not be able to answer some of these questions, you know, they might not have a budget. This can be true. Like, for example, if it's someone from a company and they don't do the budget or, you know, spending or investing decisions. So in these cases, you can ask follow up questions to gather more information. So I would most certainly dive deeper into more questions like this. Like I said, sales is an interesting thing. Some people like asking specific questions. Some people don't. Everyone does it differently. But that's just the example when it comes to questions here. Uh, presentation and close. So once you have a good understanding of the leads needs, give a presentation that highlights how your product or service can meet those needs and address any objections or concerns. So I'm going to copy this. 
Let's do this right here. Okay, so I copied that and I put my services YouTube consulting and it helps others, other, others generate more leads and sales. I don't have to actually have that. It's just something I made up to, you know, create a random script. Let's see what we get here. All right, so here we go. Based on what you told me, sounds like you'd like to do this, do that. I'm glad you brought it up because that's exactly what our YouTube consulting service specializes in. In fact, if you want to get even more specific, someone who has a main goal of like, I'd like to add, you know, a thousand dollars a month extra to my, you know, revenue overall. And then you can actually fill that in the blank. We say, I'm glad you brought that up because that's exactly what our YouTube consulting service specializes in, helping you earn at least one thousand dollars extra a month, something like that, right? We help companies like yours create and optimize YouTube content that attracts and converts viewers into customers, uh, channel audit, it talks about everything that they do. They have a track record, uh, saw 50% increase in website traffic. You could also have testimonials too. Um, you can expect to see a significant increase in leads and sales, a better return on investment and a clear path to growth. So highlights the specific benefits of your service and how it can meet the needs of the lead. It includes a specific example of the results. And just as, as an example, you should tailor to your own specific service. Uh, I've said that multiple times, just however you want to do it, not just to your servers, but to your likes, wants, and needs. Okay. Then of course, after that, we have the close. Let's just go with the close here. Following up can be done by email or a different call, right? Here we go. So I'm just going to paste that in. So after the presentation, ask for the sale, be confident and assertive, but also be prepared to handle any objections or concerns they may have. Let's click on enter. All right. So here we are. Here's an example based on what we discussed. I believe our consulting service would be a great fit for your company and help you achieve your goals. Are you ready to move forward and schedule a kickoff call to get started? Talks about being confident. And then it also talks about some of the objections that you can address. Like I need to think it over. I need to run this by my team partners or superior. I'm not sure if we have the budget for it and so on and so forth. In fact, that's also something cool that you can do when it comes to sales scripts. If you have objections that you need help with, you can just pretty much put them in. In fact, let's do that right now. So if someone has the objection that they need to think it over. Please give me three responses that I can say to that. It's funny as this was going through, I'm like, well, these pretty much all start with understand in some way, shape or form. Then at the bottom, it says it's important to understand and re be respectful of the lead's decision making process. So this talks about a specific date to follow up. Uh, this talks about... Um, what specifically you need to think over. That way I can provide more information. And then of course, scheduling a call to answer any questions and following up. So that is pretty much going to conclude it when it comes to using uh, chat GPT for a sales script. As we talk about, this isn't like a surefire, 100% perfect way of doing this. This is something that's really going to need a lot more thought than that, but it'll give you a great template. It'll give you a lot of questions to ask. It'll give you more food for thought overall, as well as some objections if you have them. So if you had never done anything with a sales script before, it'll give you at least a good place to start. But you know, it's cool with chat GPT. This is probably one of those things where I'd say like, probably go with a professional, someone who's really good at it. Uh, but that's about it. That's my opinion when it comes to creating a sales script. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Still hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.